Here in Hawaii, one of the big races is the race for governor. Will voters re-elect Governor David Ige or his challenger, Republican Andrea Tupola? Today, Governor Ige was out sign-waving with his running mate, Josh Green, and their supporters. Governor Ige says his grassroots campaign has helped him to engage with voters across the state. I'm feeling great. You know, it's been, uh, from our perspective, a terrific campaign. We've been able to uh, have a strategy and execute in a way that we feel very, very cautiously optimistic about the results of today. Manola Morales joins us live from the Democratic Party's watch party at Dole Cannery, which Governor Ige is expected to attend. Manolo. Yeah, Marissa, uh, here at the Dole Cannery, and yeah, I mean, obviously, that's still being set up, and uh, uh, yeah, a big night expected, certainly. Uh, uh, yeah. For sure, we're excited. Kaylee Lopez is a Democratic Party chairwoman wearing blue appropriately for the blue wave. And, Absolutely. And, I mean, not, not to sound smug or anything, but what kind of stuff do you worry about? I mean, certainly... Every, the candidates you have are pretty confident at this point? Absolutely. I, I think we're pretty clear that most of our candidates are going to win. The thing that I worry about, though, is that voters believe that, too, and they decide to stay home and don't come out to vote. So the reality is the polls close at 6. If you're in line, you can still vote because you have council members potentially in your district. You have the um, charter amendment for the city. You have CONCON, -Con, um, as well as Office of Hawaiian Affairs and you other legislators. Get them out there. Get out and vote. Absolutely. You, you can't take it for granted. You told a funny story about how you came into town today. and Absolutely. Okay, so this is kind of crazy, everybody. I came, I live in Nanakuli, I came to town to go to work, and then it struck me that I hadn't voted yet, so I had to go all the way back to Nanakuli to vote, and that's what everybody got to do. That's you got to go, that's, that's for a commitment, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't not have my vote count. All right. You know, someone might win by one vote. It's going to Import, be my important vote. thing there. Yeah, Kaylee Lopez, the, the Democratic Party chair, certainly will hear more from Mayor and all the, all the, all the, uh, everybody here that's involved. And right now, back to you, Marissa and Bash. All right, Manolo, thank you very much. Republican candidate for governor Andrea Tupolo also had a busy day spending her morning working the phone bank out on the road, sign waving around Oahu. Tupolo says she has been focusing on interacting with residents and finding out how she can best serve them. She says the mayor, major message for her campaign has been trying to figure out a way to decrease the cost of living for local residents. We also have a crew at Topolo's headquarters tonight. Kathy Mineno joins us now live with more on that. Hi, Kath. The Blaisdell Center Picake Room at the Andrea Tupola Victory Party. And Andrea is here. In fact, I was surprised uh, when we when I walked in about an hour and a half ago to see you here. Um, at most elections, most uh, candidates don't show up till later in the night, but you were here on the phone still. All day. You know, we woke up at 5 a.m. We got this place going at 8 o'clock. So at 9, 9 o'clock on the dot, we had callers. I was one of the callers. I must have called over a couple hundred people. We had folders ready in all of our areas. So this was just one of many of the hubs that we ran throughout the state to get volunteers involved. And you have your parents and your husband still out there. Uh, yes, our family members are out and about. My husband actually helped out with the North Shore since he's a Kahuku graduate and he's from Kahuku. I wanted to make sure that he was able to rally his classmates, his friends, and his family members, as well as my family members. So we all split up to cover more ground. You seem fairly calm for such a big night for you. What are the emotions you're going through? Well, I think when you run for an office like this, you have to envision it before you even start the path. So I envisioned this night years ago. I thought, one day I'll run for governor, and I know exactly where I'm going to be, what it's going to feel like, and I knew it was going to be here. I knew what the, you know, the environment in the room was going to be. So I always say, when it's time to perform, the time to prepare has passed. There is no need to stress out when you're actually in the game. You need to stay focused and concentrate on what you need to get done. So what do you envision the end of the night looking like? Well, I'm about to go on another Facebook Live, encourage all my voters to get out there. We got about 45 more minutes, and I know for a fact that people are rushing home so they can still get into those polls. And then right at 6 o'clock, more volunteers will be coming. So we have our hubs shutting down, and everyone is going to be coming back into the center so that we can all celebrate this moment together. You've acknowledged that you're the underdog here, but uh, can you see the victory? 
Oh, yeah. I mean, I think for me, it's more than just seeing the victory. When you go and talk to so many people and you're in so many communities and people are just rallying your cause. This past week, people were designing their own shirts. People were getting out and making their own signs and everyone was grabbing things and trying to get their friends and family to, to vote. So for me, it's been this, this feeling of overwhelming support and not for me necessarily as much as it's we are raising a bigger cause here. There are people that are concerned that they won't be able to afford to live here and that's been our message and people can get behind that message everywhere I go. All right. Thank you very much for speaking with us so early and uh, good luck to you. We'll talk to you later. Andrea Tupolu at uh, headquarters here for the evening, the Victory Party. We'll send it back to you.